Hi everybody, I'm back. And today at the Young's house, I'm making chicken and waffles. First thing that you will need in order to make chicken and waffles is you will need fried chicken. So what I like to do when I'm making my chicken is I'm going to use a boneless, skinless chicken breast. I've pre-washed my chicken breast in lime juice, salt, and nice cold water. And these are sliced nice and thin. You're going to need cracked black pepper sea salt, garlic powder, and chicken seasoning. And of course, you will need some oil. You want to, over here, let me show you my pan. Here's my pan that I'm going to fry my chicken in. And you will also need the mix to make your waffles. Those of you that know me, you guys know me. Those of you that know me, you know. If there's something out there that is easy to make and it comes out perfect every time and it tastes good oh i'm all for it so that's when i choose to use the hungry jack and it's a pancake mix and it's a waffle mix all you have to do is add water you mix that bad boy up until the consistency of pancakes and then all you have to do is put it in your waffle maker and voila you have waffles so that's how i like to make my waffles so, um, I have some honey butter that my family can use for their Made by Land O'Lakes um, for their waffles, or they can use the cinnamon sugar butter, okay? Or they can just use regular butter, okay? And I also like to use the Hungry Jack syrup. You just put it in the microwave until that little microwave right there says it is hot because you've got to use nice warm syrup on your waffle. So first thing that we're going to do, let's go ahead and start to season up our beautiful chicken. You only have one time to season it. You make sure that this time that you season it, you season it perfect. Put you some pepper on there. Make it taste good, guys. Don't be afraid to season. Only season you have to worry about is that salt. You hear me? Hey, listen here. We're going to have some good chicken tonight, guys. Woo-wee! We're going to have some good chicken. I'm taking the paper off, so give me just a second. Taking the paper off of my garlic powder. Boy, oh boy. We are so excited over here for the chicken and waffles. If you all never had this before, you better make you some, you hear me? Here goes the garlic powder. Get you some on there, baby. Make it taste nice and flavorful, okay? So now we have black pepper. We have garlic powder. I'm gonna put some chicken seasoning in there. If you can't find chicken seasoning, hey, don't worry about it. Don't make it a worry. We're having fun in this kitchen, stress-free. Everything that I like to make in this kitchen is so easy, so much fun, and yet it tastes so good. Do you hear me? Woo-wee! Somebody's at my door, guys. Give me just a second. Okay, the kids are running to get the door. It never fails. When I'm in here making some good food, someone always comes and knocks at that door. It never fails. Do you hear me? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. So then we're gonna go in with the other side and we're gonna put some sea salt. Okay, I'm only gonna salt one side of the chicken, okay? You don't have to season both sides with the salt. There we go. And you wanna let that salt soak in for at least seven, about seven to nine minutes before you cook it. That way it can have a chance to marinate and get down into those proteins, okay? So that's the chicken seasoning. We're gonna put some cracked black pepper on here and some garlic powder as well, okay? Get that on there. Like I said, don't be afraid to season your chicken. You want this thing to taste so flavorful, all right? And we're gonna go in with a little bit of garlic powder just like this. Okay, we're going to let this sit for seven to nine minutes. We're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to dredge this chicken because when I dredge my boneless, skinless chicken breast, we're going to use um, a three dredge method. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip your chicken into the flour, dip your chicken into the milk or buttermilk, 
and then back into flour. And it's going to give you a nice, beautiful, crispy golden brown crust. I'll be right back, everyone, after the seasoning soak down into the chicken. Okay, everybody, so you can see I've mixed up my waffle mix. And here's how thick it is. Looks just like pancake mix. Okay? All you got to do is mix water. Hey, if all you got to do is mix water and make beautiful waffles every time, hey, that's just for me. <laughs> all right, here's what we're going to do. The, mar the uh, seasonings have had a chance to get nice and marinated or nice and soaked down into this beautiful chicken. Now let's go ahead and dredge them. And what you want to do is go ahead and start turning your oil on. Okay, now this oil should be turned on to a medium high heat. You don't want to cook it on high because high will get it too dark on the outside and not done in the inside. You don't want to turn it on low because all you'll do if you turn it on low is you'll steam it. And we don't want that either. Okay, let's move this chicken out of the way for just a second. Okay, and let's bring our milk. I have a bowl of milk. And I have a bowl of flour. We're just gonna put it right here on the counter so I can show you all to dredge this. I'm just gonna show you how to dredge just a few of these. Okay? And I had my 10 year old set up the milk and the flour for me. <laughs> That's why they're in big bowls and I think he did an awesome job for me. <laughs> Normally I'll have it on like on a little platter, okay? A little shallow dish so you all can see, but I think you can see right down into those bowls as well. Dakota did an awesome job. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna want to have something that you can I'll just use this baking dish have something that you're gonna sit your dredged chicken on after you dredge it so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go in with the flour hopefully you all can see all right just get it nice and dredged and when you dredge it kind of shake off the excess just like that Go right into this milk. Make sure both sides get coated. All right. And you can see that seasoning stays on there, okay? And then back into the flour, okay? Just like this. This right here is going to give you a beautiful, crispy, beautiful, crispy crust that you're looking for when you think chicken and waffles. Okay? So flour first, milk or buttermilk second, and then back into the flour mixture. Okay, and then just set that right there. I'll do one more for you, and then I'll do the others off camera. Right into the flour, just like so. I hope you all are having a great day today. Hope you all are having a great week. Flour, milk or buttermilk, whichever you choose is just fine. Back into the flour, baby. You can do it, I can do it, the kids can do it. This recipe is so easy, okay? And this is how I make my chicken fried chicken recipe. Those of you that haven't seen my chicken fried chicken video, check it out. You will absolutely love it. You hear me? I'm going to do these others, and I'll be right back, everyone. Absolutely. Okay, everyone, here's what your beautiful chicken should look like after you dredge it. Okay, everybody, I have taken a few pieces of flour and just put it in there just to make sure that my oil is nice and hot because you never want to fry anything in cold oil. You want to see this beautiful sizzle that you see right there, okay? That sizzle right there always has to happen when you put your meat into the oil. Otherwise, you're going to have soggy oily meat because your oil wasn't hot enough okay so just make sure your oil's hot enough and the way to check the oil is by adding a few pieces of flour and if that flour sizzles right away your oil's perfectly heated up to 350 degrees but if your flour soaks right to the bottom without ever sizzling then the oil's still cold okay so i can get a couple pieces in here 
medium high and we're just going to let them get nice and golden brown and what you'll start to see is you'll actually see a beautiful golden brown ring towards the bottom and that's going to indicate that it's time to turn your chicken okay so once I see that nice beautiful golden brown ring towards the bottom of the chicken we'll go ahead and turn it and then I'm going to show you all how I like to make my waffles so when I started to make my dish, or before I started to do my dish, I thought of, I want a vegetable on side, just because I want a vegetable. What vegetable can I have to go with it? So I thought, what better vegetable to go with it would be corn on the cob. So in this pan here, and you can kind of see that I've made a whole bunch of corn on the cob on the side. So not only are we going to have chicken and waffles, we're going to have some nice, beautiful, sweet corn on the cob. Absolutely. Okay, everyone, let's just take a nice peek in at our beautiful chicken. And I put the other pieces of chicken in so all of the chicken was able to fit into my nice large pan. I'm starting to just barely see a golden brown ring, okay? And when I can see that nice golden brown ring around each and every one of them, we'll give them a nice turn. Okay, everyone, let's go in. And some of them has a nice, beautiful golden brown. Give them a nice turn, just like so, okay? And this one as well. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, baby. See this right here? This is what gets me excited. Woo -wee. Boy, am I getting excited over here. Okay, now some of them that are not ready to be turned. Hey, listen here. I'm not going to turn them yet, okay? No worries. Just let them be because they'll get nice and golden brown. All right, let's go ahead and put a couple of waffles in while we... Whoops. There goes my camera. We'll put a couple of waffles in while we wait. There we go. Slowly over to the batter. Okay, everybody, you can see that um, I have oiled my waffle maker. I like to take a measuring cup and then just go into your batter. And don't mix up your batter after you've already mixed it. It doesn't need a second mix because what will happen is you will cause the batter to kind of fall because the batter has actually risen. You can see how big it is. All right, this is how I like to do mine. All right, kind of spread it out nice and evenly, just like so. We're going to put the top down, turn it up on high. And when, on mine, on my waffle maker, when the green light turns on, that will indicate that it's time to open up the waffle maker and give them a look and see if they're done. Sometimes, most of the times it's always done when that green light, you know, turns on for me. But sometimes it's not done and I just let it go for just maybe a couple minutes more. Okay? I'm turning over a few more pieces of this beautiful chicken here. And one thing I don't want you to do, I don't want you all to cook your chicken too long. Please don't cook your chicken too long, guys. This chicken doesn't have to cook long because we got thin pieces of chicken. Oh, that batter smells good. Do you hear me? I can smell the vanilla in that waffle batter. Ooh, wee, it smells good. Yeah, baby. Now we're talking. This recipe, this dish, is, it's like, it's quick to make. You know, if you're coming home from work and you're tired, make chicken and waffles. It doesn't take any time, especially if you do your waffles this way. Absolutely. Let's take a peek in at our chicken over here. And you can see um, this one here, I haven't actually turned him over yet. And I'm going to turn this one back over because we need to get this part a little golden brown. All right. But we're coming along and they look nice and beautiful, nice and crispy. Oh, yeah, baby. And I have this cooling rack here and it's sitting on top of my 
cutting board and what this cooling rack will allow is it will allow for air to circulate all around your chicken um, so that your chicken doesn't get soggy at the bottom. So what it will do is it will allow the oil to drip and stay nice and crispy at the bottom. Okay? So, it looks like my green light is on. Let me come down with the camera so we can take a nice peek in at our beautiful waffle. Take a peek in. Oh yeah, baby. Uh-huh. <clears throat> See? This right here. Ooh-wee. That's what you're wanting. This is what you're wanting. When you think waffles, look at that. Look at that, baby. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm turning that other piece of chicken over. It's nice and golden brown. Okay. Right before this chicken comes out, I'm going to make a couple more waffles. Oh yeah. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and make one now. Okay, and then I'll make one right before the chicken comes out. All right, how about that? Absolutely. Woo-wee! Now my mouth is watering. Earlier today, I did a video for you all. I don't know which video you'll see first, whether it'll be this video or the video that I'm speaking of. I made cheese breakfast danishes. And boy, were they delicious. If you haven't seen that video yet, check it out. If it's not posted, be sure to watch that video because it's absolutely amazing. There we go, back onto the chicken. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Now we are talking, Gina Young. Mm, mm, mm. Where have you been all my life? Woo, chicken and waffles, where have you been all of my life? Let's look at this, nice and golden brown. Oh yeah, baby. This one's about ready to come out, and this one as well. Okay, oh yeah, we got three of them ready to come out. And then we have three towards the outer part that are not quite ready. And let, let me show you something. I put a little bit more extra batter in this one, and you can see how the batter's puffing up a little bit, which is just fine. There's no problem there, okay? Sometimes it'll happen. And if you don't want that to happen, um, use the same amount every time, okay? All right, back to our beautiful chicken. Oh, yeah. Ooh-wee, look at this. Let's go ahead and take some of these out. Oh my goodness, you hear me? Mm -mm -mm. You ain't seen nothing like this. Woo wee! See this right here? Mm -mm -mm. And that one? Oh my word! Look at this, guys! Look at the cr it's the crunch. It's the crunch that gets me every time. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let me show you. Hold on, guys. I'm going to come down with my camera so you can see. Woo, that's beautiful. And my indicator light is on. Okay, I got these three pieces. I'm moving them towards the inside of the pan so that they can get nice and golden brown. Let's take a peek in at our beautiful waffle. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Gina Young has done it again. You hear me? Woo, every time. All right, I'm just grabbing a fork. I should have probably oiled the top of my uh, waffle maker a little more, but guess what? It's okay. It's okay, baby. You hear me? Still beautiful. Mm -hmm. Take that extra bit off. Some of you might eat that extra part. <laughs> Look at this. That's a waffle. That's a waffle, guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Woo and then I'm going to put one more waffle in right before these last pieces come out. Okay, let me turn you. 
Beautiful. Turn you as well. Let's take a peek in at this one. Not quite what I'm looking for, but we'll just have to wait on it. Have patience. All right, so we have two waffles going, and we got three pieces of gorgeous chicken breast. Look at this, guys. I'd eat this any day. The perfect waffle. And look how nice and thick. Oh, my goodness. It has a little bit of crispy on the outside, and it's going to be nice and soft in the inside. You hear me? Woo! You got. You hear me? You hear me? Mm, mm, mm. This one is ready to come out. Oh yeah. Get right on there with the others. Get on there. Mmm. Alright, and so what I'm gonna do, let's put our last waffle on. And I'm gonna try not to put too much. Let's just see. <laughs> I'm gonna kinda eyeball it. Get on there and make a nice beautiful beautiful one or am I putting too much <laughs> we'll just see there you go getting nice and golden brown for me baby oh yeah Ooh. Ooh -wee. directly on this chicken and I believe our chicken is ready not quite not quite there's always a few in the bunch that want to give you a hard time, but hey, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on some good chicken. And so you're going to have that beautiful, crispy, salty flavor on top of the beautiful, sweet, oh, mm, mm, mm. waffles. And don't forget our corn on the cob. Mm, mm, mm. Let me show you all. I got a nice pot of corn on the cob. And you all know me. I'm going to slather that corn on the cob with some butter. Real butter at that. <laughs> it has to be real butter if you're having corn on the cob. Absolutely. Okay, guys. I'm going to get a plate out. We're going to plate this up. I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. That one kind of overflowed too, but it's just fine. Just fine. Hey, I'll eat it. <laughs> right? Oh, this one is just beautiful. Just a beauty. Get on there, baby. Ooh-wee. Mmm. My indicator is on for my waffle. I'm going to let it go just for maybe another second or so because I want to take this one out. Okay, let me make room over here for my piece of chicken. Mmm, yeah, baby. Get in, get in my belly. I'm going to let that go for just a second. Let's deal with this over here. All right, I'm going to come down with my camera for a good view. All right, there you are, baby. Come to mama. Hoo-wee. Oh, my word. Uh-uh-uh. Look at this. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the sides. I'm just going to take those sides off. All right, let me take that piece of chicken out. That chicken is ready, and it is beautiful. Do you all see that last piece? Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Let's make this plate. God bless this meal. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blessings. Thank you for taking care of me and my family and blessing us. Thank you for loving us. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us all make good decisions and let peace be still over our mind. Lord, we thank you for the food that you give us, the roof over our head, and the love that you give us. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Lord, once again, we thank you for this meal today. We say amen. Let's dig in. Okay, everybody, last waffle coming out. Nice, gorgeous, gorgeous and beautiful. Yeah, baby. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna let this one go just for a little tiny bit longer. Just a little bit, just a little is on me. Look at that, my word. This one right here is gonna be my husband's. I'm gonna give him a nice, beautiful piece of chicken. Look at this chicken here, right? Check it out. That's his piece of chicken. It's gonna go on this plate and I'll show you the plate, okay? Oh yeah. I'm gonna take this waffle out any second now. Okay, everybody, let's make this plate. So, for my husband's plate, he's gonna have just real butter on his. My butter is actually melting a little from the stove. Get you some butter on there just like this. You see this, guys? Oh, yeah. And I'm heating that syrup up. Ooh, wee! And he, it's really up to his discretion if he wants to put the syrup on. Okay, uh, most of the time, uh, people will put the syrup <clears throat> right on. The syrup is coming out of the microwave. Some people will put the syrup right on top of that chicken. Like I said, it's up to your discretion, whichever you would like to do. So I'm not going to put his syrup onto his chicken, but I'm definitely going to put it on mine. Oh yeah, okay, here we go guys, for the drizzle. Look at this, oh God bless this meal, my word, do you see this? Chicken and Waffles 101. If you all enjoyed this video, hey give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes, absolutely. Okay, everybody, we're going to go ahead and make mine. And of course, of course, I'm going to let you all taste this. You have to taste this. This is amazing. I'm going in with the honey butter on mine. Okay, get on there and get nice and melty. Oh, -wee. I got a few fresh strawberries on mine. Guys, listen here. Hey, I'm going to show you how to eat. You all that don't know how to eat chicken and waffles, I'm going to show you tonight. All right, we got our chicken here. And I'm just gonna do one piece. One piece is good enough for me. And just just like so, put you some, oh, put that syrup on there and put it on your chicken too. My goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this, you guys. Enjoy chicken and waffles. Thank you all for watching. Look at this. Let's dig in. Mm, where's my fork? First thing I want to taste, I'm going right into this chicken. And then we'll taste the chicken and the waffle together. But I want to show you just how beautiful this chicken is inside. Look at that. Look how nice and beautifully crispy. Oh yeah, and then we got that syrup on there. You got that sweet and salty going on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 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 That's exactly. Oh, that's so good. Mm -mm -mm. If you all never had this before, you better make you some. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to give you all one more bite. And then I'm going to get off of this camera and chow down. I wish you all a great night. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. Look at this, guys. Take that last bite right there. Oh, my word. Look at this. Good night. Mm.